Welcome back to another Tuesday tip or update with Tim. I don't know what I'm going to call this yet, Tuesday time with Tim. Today, I wanted to, the 7th, March 7th, I wanted to update uh, you all that something that's, been, that's something that has been on my heart and um, our pastor here at church uh, recently, this past Sunday, just uh, brought up one of these passages here. I, in my, um, in my Navy career, for those of you that don't know, I am an expeditionary intelligence analyst and I'm a cyber warfare intelligence uh, analyst currently assigned um, over on the East Coast. And uh, one of the things that I have the privilege of, and honor of getting to do is sift through a lot of the uh, breaking updates, uh, a lot of this open source stuff, but uh, also, of course, the classified things. And it can be really disheartening. And, and for those of you that read the news and that see the news often, uh, it can be tempting to be discouraged um, or dismayed or uh, downright depressed a lot of the times. And of course, we know that uh, that kind of news sells, right? That's what people want to hear. That's what people listen to. And so um, for me, I have the joy as a Christ follower to turn that around and reframe that in a way that says, okay, how is the Lord acting in this? How how am I seeing his hand in this? Where do I see his hand in this? How does this match with what we read in scripture? What does this look like for our future? And how can I maintain hope through this a crisis through this particular event, through this uh, awful tragedy, uh, whether that's that's spiritually, emotionally, mentally, whether that's encouraging others uh, like you, my listeners and, and viewers, um, or folks here in my life right now. So um, one of the things I wanted to do today was just share with you, and amidst all of this disunity that's going on across the world, uh, something that our pastor um, preached from this week found in the book of Mark. So if you are not familiar with uh, the Bible, here it goes. And if you are familiar with the Bible, uh, one of the books in the 66 book collection of the Bible is the Gospel Letter of Mark. So Mark chapter 10, I'm sorry, Mark chapter 9, uh, the end towards chapter 10, verses 38. John, one of Christ's disciples, shares with him and says, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name. We tried to prevent him because he was not following us. But in verse 39, Jesus said, Do not hinder him, for there is no one who will perform a miracle in my name and be able to soon afterwards speak evil of me. For he who is not against us is for us. And our pastor this week um, uh, made it into sort of this re relatable idea, uh, the disciples coming up to Jesus and saying, Jesus, there are these other people out there doing miracles in your name, uh, but they're not card-carrying union members of the Discipleship Club. They don't have our logo on their shirts. They aren't part of this, um, this sect or this uh, denomination of Christianity. And Christ uh, said, whoa, if they're, not, if they're not against us, they're for us. If they're casting out demons, if they're performing miracles, if they're doing these great things in my name, regardless of who they're following, what they, how they worship, what they're, uh, uh, if they're doing hymns or, um, I don't know, acoustical music or something, if they're, if, you know, what they wear, what, whatever, they're doing it in my name, they're for us, okay? Un unify, unify in that, hold to that. And uh, he went on to share, our pastor went on to share about um, uh, the, the later teaching uh, by Paul <clears throat> about the different body parts and how we all come together to do great things as one body. And so I wanted to encourage you today, this Tuesday, March 7th specifically, to remain unified. If you're not a believer and this goes right over your head, you can still apply this to all things in life about remaining uh, in unity and finding peace at your office and in your life and your marriage and your, you know, with the kids and when all, all chaos is happening uh, in, in, in and around you, you can find uh, something to be hopeful for, something to find peace in, in the midst of all of this chaos that you see in the news. Now, the flip side of that is, I don't, as someone who enjoys reading the news and, and staying up to date with current events, 
Um, I don't want to say go stick your head in the sand and just turn it off. That's a solution that can be easy and definitely tempting to do. But it's important that uh, as productive citizens of our country, as productive people in the workforce, as uh, responsible men and women uh, to our circles that we are a part of, that we are relevant and that we are informed, what is what we need to do then is now focus on the outpouring of that. So instead of just regurgitating hate or judgment or um, disparity <laughs> and evil across the social media world or in person, we instead re re turn that around and, and, and say, okay, how can I, how can I share this with you and, and be hopeful in this? How can I share this with you and be an encouragement to you in this? And so I would uh, like to share just one more example before I tune out for today. I had um, uh, this uh, group of folks that I'm getting ready to work with now as a managing broker uh, in another state, and they are um, incredibly disrespectful and incredibly uh, belittling and very uh, discouraging to my own heart. And that is hard for me as someone who seeks peace, as someone who, um, who doesn't take uh, that kind of conflict well. Um, it's it eats me up on the inside and so there was a lot of uh, prayer that went into this and and I ended up stepping away from the situation for a couple of days where where normally I would I would quickly respond or uh, be very assertive is how my personality usually comes up comes across and and dominative and so I would jump right into that uh, but I ended up stepping back and just letting it go which was very very difficult and and ate up a lot of my mind uh, space, mental space uh, this weekend, but it was resolved yesterday, Monday, it was resolved. And uh, after two or three days of just letting it go and and um, not responding in, in the way that I would have wanted and just letting it play its course, it was resolved and there's peace. And so as a, as a personal example of uh, conflict and, you know, reading uh, all of this chaos um, that's going on in the world or experiencing chaos and disunity in your own life, sometimes the best course of action is just to breathe and not get involved or just trust, just pray. And, um, and if you don't know the Lord and you don't have that anchor for your soul in these chaotic storms, uh, you can always reach out to me. I'm widely, wide, widely available all the time. Uh, and I'm sitting here in my cardigan and uh, basically pajamas on a Tuesday morning. So you know that I'm available to talk about uh, the passions and things of this, of, of things that actually matter in this life. So uh, thank you all for listening for another week, uh, Tuesday Tips. If you are looking for something that's helpful as well, I wanted to share one more thing here. The question I want to pose for this week for you to mull over and think of is how do you de-stress. That's something I ask uh, my wife Grace a lot because um, she's still working through that and what that looks like in a tangible way, not just articulating mumbo jumbo. What does that actually look like? How do you really de-stress? So that's the question for you all this week. How do you de-stress? What does that look like? Uh, and and how, does that, how does that play out in your life? And do you do you allow yourself that when things are chaotic and crazy? So uh, for those of you whose answer may be, hey, I binge watch things. If you haven't seen the latest video on our YouTube channel here, the VPN one, I think there's two on there. The latest one, go look for the latest um, dated one. That will walk you through. It's only a couple minutes long. It'll walk you through how to install a VPN on your phone. If you're not familiar with that whole process, it's very user friendly. And then how to watch things on your phone using that VPN or on your Roku device or on the smart TV or whatever you use. So an example is I like to watch The Office. Um, Netflix doesn't have The Office on, uh, on the US based version of Netflix anymore for some reason. And so, uh, but what, who, who does have that is uh, the country of France. And so using that VPN allows uh, Grace and I to watch The Office in France, essentially, uh, is how it mimics our phones. So 
uh, watch that couple minute video here on our channel, VPN, Netflix, uh, workaround. And uh, that's our tip for the week. Hope you found that, if nothing else in the video, helpful. And uh, we'll tune in for next week, Tim's Tech Tuesday Tips, Tim's Tuesday Tips, or Tim's Talk on Tuesday. I don't know. Send me an email, tim.c.miller at outlook.com with a better name recommendation as we go forward. And as always, thanks for watching.